Right, we'll clean the spring now. We've got his scouring pad with some blue Kero on it. You double it over. Put on first to hold it in place. Double the scouring pad over on the spring. Rub it backwards and forwards. The full length of the spring. Remove old grease and oil and dirt that's on it over the years and that's accumulated. Pull it down as far as we can go. It's about as far as we're going to get on that, I think. Right, now using a piece of cloth, we'll wipe the Kero off. Removing the dirt and the oil at the same time. Now with another piece of clean cloth, we'll go over the ring once again to make sure that we've removed as much of the Kero as we can. Wipe it down. Now we'll remove the spring from the winder. Put the winding arbor back in again. Actually that could do with a good clean. It's looking a bit rusty. We'll clean that before we put it back in. Right, we've set the winding arbor up in our lathe. We'll now turn the lathe on. Running at about 300 revs. And using a 1200 grit stick. We'll slowly move that across the top of the arbor. And it'll remove the rust. I'll turn that up a little bit. It's better, it's about 500 revs now. Turn it off, see what we've got. Yes, that looks better. Right, we're now grease our clean spring. Using some silicon grease, we wipe it around the inside of each of the loops of the spring making sure that we get a liberal amount on any excess we'll wipe off when we're finished that loop there there Round, bit more on the outside loop, down around there, and then in round, a very tight bit, tightly well. Now back to the spring winder, Put the spring on, goes on that way. Right, we're ready to roll on the spring again. Wind it up so we can put the clamp on it. 
See how tight we're getting. The main spring clamp. Right now we can undo, reverse uh, the flow on the spring. And the main spring clamp will take up the tension. Excellent, there we go. Take that out. And there's our spring, you can see the excess grease on it, which we'll now wipe off. It's now ready to put back into the movement. We're now going to put the wheels back into the movement. We put the top plate on. We're going to check for end play and to see whether we need to do any re-pivoting. We'll put them in. They're there. Third wheel. There, now the escape wheel on the top plate. We'll start to put this all together. Now we can start to put the movement back together again. Line up a couple of the posts for a start. One's in, put a put a nut on that post there to hold it securely. Second wheel goes there. Third wheel a little bit tight. We'll open the plates a tiny bit to let it move. Put a nut on that post to hold it. Now move it round. Escape wheel, the last wheel to go in. Tighten some nuts down. Another one on over there. Tighten them down just a little bit. With a 7mm spanner. Hold everything in place. See the trains moving smoothly. Now have a look to see what the pivots look like and check each wheel but in play. We're looking at this pivot here at the moment. Bit of movement in that one. have to be redone third wheel will have to be redone scope wheel that one looks like it might be all right scope wheel there move that away Yeah, most of them are going to have to be redone. 